guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video as you guys can see by the title i'm doing an lgbt pride month makeup look those who do not know what lgbt stands for lgbt stands for lesbian gay bisexual and transgender and the pride is just to love and accept who you are who you want to be and who you want to love within this month of june so you're having a lot of lgbt pride parades going on from la to new york to atlanta to texas to dc all around the world food music and just looking good dressing good having a good time meeting new people and just loving and embracing who you are as a person who you want to be who you want to love and just having a really great party <laughs> And just ignoring all of that negativity that sadly the LGBT community still gets to this day from people that are just rude, mean, disrespectful. Mm. But as you guys can see what I did for this look, um, I did do a LGBT pride makeup look last year. It was inspired by James Charles with his rainbow cut crease. Y'all, everybody and their mama recreated that makeup look, okay? Because it was super inspiring and it was really cool on how he did it. So I ended up doing mine last year around this month. Actually, like around this time, like towards the end of June. But I decided to be just a little bit different this year. And yes, I did do a rainbow cut crease. But instead of doing a full rainbow on each eye, I did ha one half rainbow on this eye, one half rainbow on that eye. And then I also filled in the cut crease with white. I also did it in reverse so as you can see it's yellow orange red pink purple and then I did yellow green dark green blue and purple so you know she did a little extra stuff or whatever <laughs> and as you can obviously see I added some leopard print on the perimeters of my face down halfway from the neck and then I finished it off with a new lip and gloss the reason why I did leopard print is because I feel like everybody should feel fierce. You know, I feel like cheetahs, leopards, lions, and tigers, their print just comes off on them just so fierce. And I feel like for the LGBT community, you need to feel fierce. That fierce, striking confidence out for everybody, okay? Nobody is safe. <laughs> Well, before we get into the video, why don't you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel, okay? Join the YouTube family that we got going on here. And then why don't you guys also go ahead and hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video here on my channel. So that way you guys won't miss any good videos like this, okay? You feel me? And then you guys can also go ahead and follow me on all my social medias, which is my Instagram and my Twitter. There are two links up in the banner if you're desktop version and then if you're a mobile version. Mobile version, then you can go ahead and swipe left and just go to my about section on my channel. And you can also click those two links to my social medias as well. But I'm going to go ahead and stop chit-chatting so you guys can see how I got this look. So for not further ado, you guys, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay you guys so I already did my base off camera which is you know primer, illuminator, color corrector, foundation, concealer, translucent powder, face powder, contouring and now I'm currently in the process of baking and as you can see the brows of course they're done I always like to do my brows before I do anything else on my face and then I also went ahead and primed my eyelids off camera as well and all the products that I use for the base of my face will be in the description box down below. Okay, you already know I always do that throughout all my videos and I always will do that throughout all my videos. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can finally get into this eye makeup and you guys can get a better close-up look of what I'm doing. And before we get into the eye look, I wanted to mention that with me baking, I expanded it a little bit towards... About the same ends of the tail of my eyebrows just to catch any fallout that's going to be from the inner to the outer corner to the center part of my crease. We're using a lot of colorful eyeshadows today, specifically matte eyeshadows. So you already know it's going to be some type of fallout coming from some eyeshadows. So that's why I just went ahead and extended it just to, you know, help us this out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start on this eye first. Um, we're going to do the first half of the rainbow on this side and the other half of the rainbow on this side of the eye. 
Okay, so you already know the first half of the rainbow goes red, orange, yellow. But I'm going to do a reverse and I'm actually going to start with yellow, then go to orange, then go into red, and then go to pink, and then extend it out to purple. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this yellow and I'm going to start working that in the inner corner of my crease. Okay, so now that we have the yellow going on, I'm going to go ahead and start dipping into some orange. Okay, so now I'm going to take some orange right here. Okay, so right now I'm taking my index finger and I'm dipping into that orange matte shade and I'm just packing on the shadow as much as I can. And I'm also bringing it in between the yellow and the orange just to kind of really blend it out. Now I'm going to also dip into some yellow with my index finger as well. And I'm just going to pack on that eyeshadow like I did with the orange. And I'm also going to take it in between and blend it out. Okay. So I don't really have a very pigmented red eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and use like a cream, which is I'm going to be using a lipstick. It's by Black Opal. It's in the shade Vampy Red. I'll give you guys a little swatch here it's not a bad red it, you could tell it has a little bit of a a pink undertone to it but hey it's it's there though <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start applying that on the lid with a very light touch now since I'm extending this out like a cut crease, I'm going to go ahead and take some very burnt red-ish undertone orange and I'm going to put this on top of the cream red lipstick to kind of set it. See so how the eyeshadow sets on top of the lipstick and it just really kind of gives it that almost like that bright red that we were looking for. Okay, so now I'm going to take some hot pink eyeshadow real quick on the same small precise eyeshadow brush that I used to apply the red. Okay, so now that we have the yellow, orange, red, and pink intact, now we're going to go ahead and dip into some purple. And I'm going to take that same small precise eyeshadow brush. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this Maybelline Better Skin Concealer that I have on the back of my hand. I'm going to dab it with this flat, precise eyeshadow brush. We're going to go ahead and carve out our cut crease. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this Maybelline Better Skin Concealer that I have on the back of my hand. I'm going to dab it with this flat, precise eyeshadow brush. We're going to go ahead and carve out our cut crease. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um... Sorry y'all, the reason why I'm looking downwards is because I got my pink up close handy dandy mirror. But I'm going to try and keep it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. About halfway through. But now we gotta finish. So yeah, I kind of drew a line, a little sketch line of where I want my cut crease to end. Because we don't want it to take over the whole entire eye look or else it's going to have all the colors that we did disappear. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the rest of it off camera. Pretty much just angling it the way I want to. As you can see, the red kind of disappeared a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more just so that way it can be very visible even from afar. So I got the flat precise eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to kind of draw a little bit of line. I'm gonna take some eyeshadow and press it on top to kind of set it. But I'm gonna do it with a very light hand. So we won't mess up our cut crease. Okay, so now that we have the first half of our rainbow complete, 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger and kind of press down on the concealer so we can get it kind of tacky okay so I'm going to take some white paint um, I got this from the drugstore at Walmart it's by Apple Barrel and it's in the shade of white and this is matte acrylic paint, quick drying and easy to clean up, which basically means it's washable. You always want to get washable paint when it comes to doing any type of face painting, etc. Always get the washable kind. Nobody wants permanent paint on their face, but you don't always necessarily have to get big bottles like this. This is a two fluid ounce bottle. You can always get like the acrylic sets um, that they have at Walmart as well in their um, arts and crafts department. That set's pretty good too, but you know what? Those sets are like, now that I think about it, they're always like six or seven bucks. For this, it was only like 99 cents. It was like rounded up to a dollar, so that's actually not bad. Okay, so I took the white paint and I mixed it in with the actual paint brush that I have, um, and I'm going to apply that on top of our cut crease that we carved out with concealer. You want to be quick because this paint will dry and the thing is I'm going along the line of my cut crease, I'm not extending the line or anything. I'm making sure I'm following the same line that I used to carve out with concealer. Like I'm literally going along the lines here. Uh oh, see what I'm saying? Gotta be real quick. Okay, so now that we have a card down, I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes and I'm going to take my small handy dandy mirror and I'm going to fan the paint so it can dry. Okay, so now that the white is dry, I'm going to go ahead and take some white eyeshadow on this cute small flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to pack it on to set the paint so it will not crease okay so now I'm gonna dip back into that yellow eyeshadow and we're gonna start packing it on other half of our rainbow just start blending it out okay so now that we have on enough yellow uh, it's time to dip into that green eyeshadow taking a flat precise eyeshadow brush and start packing it on okay so now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to dip into this beautiful blue eyeshadow from the true naked jewels palette start pressing that in and as you can see I extended the blue out like I did for the red but I'm actually going to take a little bit of dark green and I'm going to blend it in between the blue and the green so it can kind of have a nice pretty transition color going on okay so now I'm going to take some purple and I'm going to edge my way up in there okay so I had to step off camera and really fix something here because I noticed I have five colors on this side and I was only creating four so I went ahead and created one two three four five so now it's completely even okay so now I'm going to take some of that Maybelline better skin concealer that we used to carve out the other eyelid and now I'm going to start on this eyelid get my close-up mirror so I can really see what I'm doing okay so now that we have it carved out with concealer I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that white paint on my paintbrush and we are gonna do the same thing that we did to the other eye. Okay, so now that we're letting the paint dry, I'm gonna go ahead and apply on some Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline to coat my lashes. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes off camera and then I'm also going to go ahead and wipe away the bake off camera and I'm also going to go ahead and touch up my contour off camera and apply some blush and highlight off camera just to kind of speed up the process because we have some detailing on the face to do and honestly I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing so 
I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so now that we have these lashes on, I actually have two pair of lashes right now. Oh my god, y'all, my eyes, they feel so freaking heavy, but. Okay, you guys, so I know it's kind of hard to see, but I do have lashes on. Excuse them, they look kind of ratchet, but they are on. And we are done with the eye makeup look. Oh my god, y'all got paint on my hand, Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry if you guys can hear someone mowing their lawn in the background, but anyways, I decided to add a little bit of like white paint to kind of make it a little splatty within the inner corner. Okay, so I have my blush on my cheeks, I have my highlights, and I fixed up my contour, so now we're going to get into the last detailing of this makeup look before we get into the lips. Okay, so now I'm going to do some leopard print and I'm going to kind of expand it on the outer edges of my cheekbones and on my temples on my forehead a little bit. Actually, let's just say the perimeter of my face because I might do some on the sides like where, I'm, where my temples are. Um, I don't know, it just depends. But I'm going to create some medium size leopard print. Okay, so I'm going to dip into the white paint and I'm going to use that same um, medium size kind of-ish <laughs> paintbrush that I used earlier to help carve out my cut crease on my eyelids. Got some white spots on my face like this. And once you made some spots like this that are kind of medium and a little bit small and you expanded it out a little bit so you gave it at least a little bit of space in between each spot. Now we're going to take this thin paint brush right here and we're going to dip into some black paint. Like this. Handy dandy close up mirror here so I can really see what I'm doing. You're definitely going to want your close up mirror for this one. So now I'm going to take the black paint and I'm going to go on the perimeter of the white spot and kind of create a little bit of the zigzag, a little squiggle, just so it can, so you can really see how it looks and it doesn't matter if it takes over all the white or just a little bit. The more uneven it is, the more realistic it looks. And you can also add little dots in between as well. Here are my temples as well. Same thing what we did last time. And here is what the first side looks like. Now like I said, you don't have to make it medium size. You can make it as small as you want. You can make it as big as you want. You can put more than just a couple around the perimeter of the face like I did. Okay, and this is first half of the face done with leopard print. And you don't have to have it a medium size like I decided to do. You can always go to either a smaller size or a bigger size. But your girl is going to go ahead and do the other side of the leopard print off camera. And then we'll come back and we'll get into the lips and then we can finish off the look. Okay, you guys, so I am back, and I went ahead and I lip lined my lips using the Nikka K Lip Liner in the shade Dark Brown. Now, when it comes to lips, I feel like you can do three different lip colors. First lip color that I think will go well with this look is the Queen Major Shade Collection by CoverGirl. This is a liquid lipstick, and it is in the shade Rebel. Now this is giving me mauvey pink nude realness right now. See? It just goes well with the look. It complements it very well. So you could wear this color if you wanted to. By the way, it's a complete dry matte liquid lipstick. It's not a satin finish. It's just completely dry. And you can also add some clear gloss on top if you want to be a little extra, you know what I'm saying? Now, 
color number two is from measurable difference it's one of their lippy cream matte it comes in like a 36 set it's so awesome but this is one of them it doesn't have a name on it and this is a matte finish but like i said with the last liquid lipstick you could be a little bit extra go out of your way and you can add some gloss on top to just give it a little bit more oomph be a little extra or you could do lip color number three and you could just do a complete nude i took the nikki k new york lip liner in dark brown lip line my lips and then i added two nude lippies from measurable difference once again they have no name and y'all already know your girl went extra and she took some clear lip gloss and she coated that on top. And voila, this is kind of like my go-to nude combination mixed with gloss. And lastly, I'm going to take the CoverGirl Look Lock Up Setting Spray and I'm going to set the whole entire f f place face. <laughs> Hey you guys, and that is the end of this LGBT pride makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys really learned some cool new techniques on different ways within creativity. From the cut crease, even though you've probably seen a bunch of videos of people doing a cut crease with some white, you know, eyeshadow, um, white liquid liner, uh, pencil liner. <laughs> But have you seen anybody do leopard print with it though? I don't think so, okay? <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you guys go ahead and give it a big ol' thumbs up. And comment down below any other makeup look suggestions that you guys would like for me to do here on my channel. And also comment down below if you liked this look, if you liked what I created for you guys today. Once again, you guys, LGBT month is time to honor and celebrate with people who just want to be who they are, people who want to love who they love without any discrimination, without anyone judging them, without anyone being disrespectful. It's just all about having a good time, good spirits everywhere, enjoying yourself, enjoying each other's company, understanding one another, and accepting one another as well. But also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Join the YouTube family. We are growing and growing, which I really do love and appreciate. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video here on my channel as well. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias, which is my Instagram and my Twitter. And that's pretty much it for the video, you guys. Like I said, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Chicks to fight, no wonder, wonder